Wolfpack, welcome back to another Warzone spectating video. In today's video, we're going to be spectating the... We're going to be spec... In today's video, we'll be spectating the three best friends that anybody could have, meaning trios. Diving into the wonderful world of lack of teamwork and seeing how long it takes these guys to split each other apart. And you all know what I mean by that, because no one in this fucking game ever believes in teamwork. They just believe in dying together. That's, that's the only thing they do together. All right. Oh, we got fisticuffs. Let's go, baby. Oh. Oh. Meow. Actually, he's a sweat. Let me die to him. No, don't die. He might not be a sweat, actually. Time will tell. Time will tell. I don't know about this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are spectating Philip on D's. We got Mr. Original over here, brother. I'm, a, I'm guessing nuts is probably the, the finishing statement on that one. The hopefully with all the cleverness he has, we see some clever ass gameplay. That or he's making up for lack of gameplay. We'll see. But we do have an entire team wipe. All of them coming back from the Ghoulie except for one. Now we have to waste our time for a buy station. You got to win your Ghoulies, guys. You got to. If I see another person sitting in the damn corner, Waiting for enemies to come, I'm gonna lose my shit. Most people die in this new gulag. Most people hate this new gulag because you're too passive. You gotta be an aggressive player in this ghoulie. It's really good. Uh, my ghoulie percentage in this new one's about a 90%. Not flexing. Just wanna show that being aggressive actually helps you win in this gulag as opposed to being passive, which is why I'm a huge fan of it. A little dark, I agree, but uh, it, it's a good design nonetheless. Right now, again, I would be taking the uh, balloon to go to the bounty. We go bounties. And that's kind of it. What the fuck? Ah, that's the first time I've seen sabotage in the game. Wow. Wow. Um, one thing I've noticed is did they remove them? Bruh, wait, wait. All right. I don't play trios ever. I've been playing Iron Trials quads, which is why I don't see sabotage. Do they, do they not have big game bounty in this mode? That is straight ass. That's straight ass cheeks right there. All right. Anyway, I'd go ahead and get the, uh, we'll get the bounty. All right. There we go. All right. Again, guys, stop wasting just so much damn time. Balloon. Easy dubs or the chopper, because then you can go there and chase down the bounty with the chopper. But we're going to go on foot. Now, I would imagine there's a team here. I don't think this game loaded with all 150 people, though. I'm pretty sure it loaded with, like, 120. I might be a liar. I don't know. All right, we see movement out in the back. They also bought a loadie. Let's go ahead and go get the bounty, bro. What are we staring at? They're all going to be focused on loading behind the building. So this gives us time to get the bounty, which will probably be on them. And uh, we could go ahead and get on that rooftop and hopefully... No, nah, damn it. I'd still shit on this team first. How close are they? Uh, these guys actually might have a bounty on us. They're kind of far to be a level two threat. Enemy if we don't hit level three, then they are the bounty. Yep, here we are. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I really wish if you if two teams had bounties and one team has a bounty on you, you should definitely reverse it and have the bounty on them as well. I'm really not sure what we're doing. I'm going to be honest. We're going to go camp. All right, well, I was really expecting to see aggressiveness for uh, the sole fact of the skin that he was using, the fact that he was pretty aggressive in the ghoulie, which is why I wanted to die to him. But unfortunately, here we are spectating another passive player. Now, if you saw my rebirth video yesterday, um, and if you haven't checked out my rebirth channel, make sure you do so. We witnessed an aggressive player, a player with really good movement, playing highly passive because he wanted to play for the win. If you guys are good players and you want to play for the win, by all means, you know, play your position, play for the win. That's the objective of the game. But um, I would like to see him get in a gunfight so we can really see how good of a player he is. Getting shot in the back, panic melee, and there it is. There it is, dude. All right. That's what I was really worried of. A lot of people that play passive just aren't. They're not really competent in their gunplay. Crazy looks like he's about to get shit on as well. Breaking out. Thankfully, he's got... Will PR over here soloing right now. 
And look at this. We literally outnumber this man. So far, we've only seen one guy. And look how we're playing. Look at, what are you doing, crazy? What are you doing, homie? He just shit on your boy. He's still close by because you're level three threat. Yet here we are separating, not using our numbers to our advantage. And now we're about to get shit on. He's about to shit all over our biscuit. Look at, look at him. Look, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Crazy. You're playing like a fucking crazy man right now. I say that much. Not in a good way either. A very bad way. And this enemy's smart. He's trying not to put himself inside of a building. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, I wanted this team to die so badly, man. Oh, damn it, dude. Now look, a lot of things wrong with this fight. Everyone pull up a chair, sit down. Let's, let's, have, a, let's have a conversation. Let's have a little chat. I mean, one right there, that whole fight took what? Three minutes, four minutes. So now our bounty's expired. So we're losing out on that objective. It took us four minutes to win a trio solo fight, by the way, which at what point we lost a squad member. So I don't really think we won in that sense at all. Um, There's a very, very bad fight in general. Very, very bad timing no working together and then as we saw with philip on these he absolutely got shit on here we have joe blow staring off the outer split yo in the tower l o l i would honestly have green come land on you and get the res up but he's gonna go super gung-ho and philip uh, philip brother come on man what are you doing all right again fuck it who cares <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> This is crazy. So again, if I was Philip, dude, I would have just, instead of chasing down the guy parachuting, because Blue could have done that, landed on my teammate and got him up, because now he's going to bleed out. Now he's going to bleed out, and we're going to be down a player again, because of, again, what? Because of what? Because of lack of teamwork. Because of the fact we love throwing games 3 v one and. Because right now it's 3v1 and we might actually throw this. I really kind of hope we do. He's below us. Blue's leaving us for some reason. Just walking out in the middle of the open. Backing up as he's ADS. Look at this shit. King Nito. The fuck are you doing, homie? Guys on the rooftop, able to get it there. Oh God, I love Iron Charles. Dude, the fact that you could, the SMGs have a range like that. Oh my God, solo trio again, again. Yo, King Potato, fuck these kids up, bro. I don't know who to be more mad at, Philip Crazy or King Nito. All of them play the same. They're great, they're great teammates, to be honest. They're very in sync with doing the wrong shit. Again, guys, look, not everyone's going to be a GOAT. Not everyone's going to have the capability to go out there and solo trio. So don't. Don't. Just because everyone bitches about three stacking doesn't mean that's a bad thing to do. It's it's a good strategy. That's why we bitch about it. Because you usually win if you stack. So if these guys would have literally full sent one guy, then another, then another, we'd already won this fight. And again, we're looking at another fight that has taken um, roughly five minutes to win or lose however you guys look at it and again i think we lost this one as well i think we took two l's on both of these fights regardless of winning the first one so now we have no money now we're on the edge of zone we've got to rotate somehow away from this fight without getting clapped which may happen because that team doesn't look like they really want to move either i wouldn't even loot ruins i would honestly just bail back just get out of here all together because if they do send you you're fucking dead He actually might find four grand here. Damn. I can never find money. This man finds four grand in ruins. That's crazy. Who does he buy back? Philip or crazy? There we go. I, I knew he wasn't going to buy back Philip. All right, now you bail out of this bitch. SMG here. This may be bad. I would imagine this team's still there. And if they are and they see us land in, they may get aggro on us. Little too high to see movement. 
Not really sure what Crazy's doing or where we're going. I think he's trying to go back to his loot, but this may be a fatal mistake. Land on that rooftop at least, because we know there's two bodies up there with... Oh, yep, there he is. There he is. And you're dead. Fatal mistake. No. Nope. Yep. If he was going to go ahead and commit to that, which it looked like he was going to, he should just full set that rooftop instantly when no one was up there, grab loot, and just held that staircase. The guy happened to just crawl up, and then at that point, they were, he just got beamed from two different directions. It is what it is. Not surprised there. So here we are again in a regain spot. Guys, when you're coming back from the from the uh, ghoulie or you're getting bought back, and don't get it twisted. I full send shit I shouldn't either because that's just what I do. Um, Make sure you're playing your life, dude. Make sure you put yourself in a good position. We need to get an angle on this vehicle. That way we can shoot him in the head when he gets back in. I physically can't drop my jaw any lower than it already is. What the fuck that just happened? Don't you, don't you even get fucking cute with that, King Nito. You fucking... Bro, you saw the enemy on the left-hand side, and he still shot the vehicle on the right. He almost lost out on that kill. He would have if that guy wouldn't have driven our way, and he also would have lost out on that kill if the enemy didn't jump out of the vehicle. The enemy just jumped out that bitch. Now... It may have been disabled. I wasn't paying attention to that. It looked like it blew up at the end. But just so many what the fucks with that fight right there. King Nito got real lucky. So him getting all cute shooting that head like that. Like tap firing it. Don't be that cute, bro. That's that's embarrassing. Here we are going to get crazy back. Oh, it fucked up. We got Philip back. And these guys don't look like their accuracy is bad. They're able to hit their shots. Oh, well, I, I, okay. That last fight looked pretty bad. I'll be, I'll be honest. But before, when he was beaming people with his gun on that rooftop, he looked like his aim was pretty good. I'm um, just... I don't really know exactly how to break down their gameplay. Um, Again, stick together. Your skill's not there to be running off by yourself. Um, Learn how to regain a little bit more properly. Full sending a full team or Mary Poppins floating above a full team who has loadout who's clearly still there. Just not a good idea. He should have landed on King Nito, grabbed that Owen. <laughs> I mean, brother, look, I appreciate you for letting me spectate your shit gameplay and teach everybody out here what not to do. The only thing you should be flipping off is the fact that you're playing like a bot now look this is again the players like this is who i make these videos for and if you're a bot be a bot i got nothing against bots but the the videos that i do the old tips and tricks videos i used to make are literally for players like this players who should be better than they are but they're not because again they just lack decision making they lack teamwork they lack basic fundamentals of br they have they have the slide cancel down they got movements they got timing but it's all just cod luck there's an enemy literally below us in the ravine he just popped up a mini map see now we're sticking together now we're gonna fucking two-man push this fight and we're still gonna lose lol <laughs> Green, you want to help us out? Fill up on these. You want to help us, buddy? Pretty please. They didn't get the kill. It's amazing to me. We had three people. Oh, he's on the ridge. You just saw him. You got to. Oh, my God. You got it. Oh, it's King Potato. The guys who fucked him up in the beginning, they ended up. They ended up fucking up at the end. GG. But again, they almost threw, almost threw that too. They almost threw that too. Don't be mad at me, brother. I'm not the reason you're shit. What a molly. What a molly! My man Kobe Bryant out here with this shit. You might as well equip the heartbeat sensor and a claymore, brother. We literally saw an okay. We see an enemy take a zip. You, should, you might as well follow them. That's what I'd do. But it's clear to me these guys don't want to do the things that I would do. 
We've got 15 teams left. Fields is hot. Two teams fighting there. We got two teams about to fight right here. I'd uh I'd play this area, honestly. You see this rooftop right here? I'd get on that rooftop and I would put rain bullets down range. Or we're just gonna full send into this shit and say fuck it. May work out because we're able to shoot him in the back, but we might get shot from the team to our left. I love that he goes for an execute instead of transitioning to the next enemy. Green goes down, orange goes down again, split. We're trying to third party two teams here, five total enemies, and we split off just to lose two. Here we have King Nito once again trying to regain. Uh, we know there's an enemy in the house, or there was. There's another enemy to the left-hand side, and we're just kind of chilling, man. Not really against it. Don't want to push into a house and get four stacked by corner campers. He's behind you. He's bro. You just saw him jump. Please tell me we're moving on. Please, somebody help me. Again, and this was what I was pointing out. King Nito always going for X's instead of playing the situation. He had two knocked. Instead of getting the execute, if he would have focused on the third teammate that was inside that we saw through the window, he legitimately could have won that entire squad fight and probably had enough money, bags, to uh, buy his squad mates back. But again, players that I believe are better than what they're displaying, showing proof that they might not be, if they just work on that basic bullshit, they would be better. And here we have the three stacking corner campers chilling and vibing. We need 200 more dollars. I'm not going to get out there and loot. There's a couple of dead bodies over to the house to our 119. But I don't think that... Waste, waste, waste. You better have restock if you're wasting shit like that. They might not know that there's a... There was a team that killed our homie. In the building close to blue ping. Which is crazy to me. Again, dude, mini-map. They're sitting... Oh, they, they do know. They were sitting in this building the whole time, staring at this building. They saw him get killed over there. So that's exactly where I'd go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, close, but no cigar, baby. But again, you got him cracked. I'd go ahead and push this bitch. We have also have enough money for the buy, by the way. We also have enough money for the buy. Pej is going up there. Pejai. Pejai. I'm learning a lot of languages playing this game. It's pretty cool. Also, we're dead in the circle, which is a spot you don't want to be. I'd work my way to the edge. Work my way to the edge of the zone. Get out of here because right now we have the potential to get third party, fourth party, fifth party. The problem with being in the center of the zone is, say we're in the house. Say we're fighting a team over here. Well... You can get pushed from any other direction, or if this team pushes you and you're trying to bounce out the windows to run around the building and play it, you'll get shot in the back again. In game circles, you do not want to be dead center ever. Now, there's there's never a reason ever. Even if you're in the high point, the high ground, still never a reason to be the edge of the circle. Oh my, oh my God! Climb the Valhalla, bro. You're not climbing shit. Sit in the corner. But I think he has the carry on the team regardless. Nope. What are you doing? What gun, bro? Why are you, first off, one, why are you tap firing? No, fuck this noise. Why are you tap firing a sniper glinting at your window and sidestepping like he's not about to shoot you in the head? Granted, he didn't because he's a bot, but that was still ignorant. That was weird. You don't do that. Secondly, don't use this gun. This is stupid. Everything about this build pisses me off. I'm raging inside thoroughly. Let's see where the circle rotates. Again, they're dead zone. They're dead center in the zone. I don't... They still are. They must be reconners. This is bad. They may win because this lobby looks really uh, interesting. But I don't know about this, dude. Look how many people they can fit in this small ass shed. This is crazy. I hate you. I hate you for the Claymores. Yeah, stand in our way. Hell yeah. 
Granted, it's not like he's not gonna hit shit. I've I've got a spectator to see if he gets a kill. He clearly got six already. Are you gonna tap fire? All right, now we're shooting a team over to the north. We also had a team behind us. We were just staring at. What are we watching? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, precision. Can it kill us in here? I don't even know anymore. I don't know how it downs us, not the other guy. Uh oh. So now we pissed off two teams being dead center. Granted, one team's getting third party right now. It sounds like. Sounds like they're pushing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here they are. Molly, and we get a knock. We get knocked as well. Trade, trade. And unfortunately, team camping dead center of the zone. Weird. Goes down. Who would have thought? Got getting shot from two different sides. Who would have thought, bro? Um, two lessons in this. Don't ever get center zone in game. That's just that's just duh. Uh and two. What where was it? Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, don't if you are center zone, don't piss everybody off. You're just, you're begging to get third party at that point. Thank God he had all those claymores. Or did you really good, didn't it? Mm-hmm. What's your mom doing? We've got, uh, Jay's too tatted. Fuck with that. And then we got, uh, Ramiru Tempest rocking how many kills? Ooh, all right, Tempest boy. This is, I haven't, I don't, um, we'll see. Let's see what he does. It's a 3v8 situation right now. A lot of teams left, surprisingly. We can make that jump if we jump on the fence. He's got the right idea. The problem with jumping on the rooftop right now is we're still technically center of the zone. Well, maybe you can't jump up there. Pretty sure you can. You don't, you don't, oh yeah, there it is. We're still center of the zone. So like, even if we, even though we're on the edge here, if there is a team rotating out, we're gonna get shot from behind. And that's exactly what's happening. That's exactly what's happening. I would have been more worried about clearing the backside than anything. There's enemy. Get his ass. Enemy to the left. Enemy to the left. Enemy to the left. All right. We tried to tell him, but he didn't listen. He didn't listen. Also, guys, if you don't want to lose games, make sure you try Sneak Energy. Sneak does more than you think. He's code staff to check out in the creator code spot. And here we are. Black Star TV goes down. Rocket 10 kills. I can't spectate because the spectating program in this sucks. Let me see the fight. Looks to be a 3v1v1. Oh, no. It's a 2v2v1. 2 2v1. I don't know what he was doing. Don't go for the res, right? What do you know? You finished the fight, bro. They got third party. This is a W. Got a no shot. There's one guy left. It's a 2v1. Y'all got blessed, homie. There she is. It was him the whole time. I didn't realize he was down bleeding out. Wow, they got lucky. But look at that situation there too. That was a risky, that was a risky ballsy situation. He's literally laying, he's rezzing, right? It was a 1v2 at the time because your boy was down rezzing. Oh, it was a 1v1v1. We needed to let our boy self-res. That is the moment you don't save the self reses. Let him do it and play the situation. If that enemy would have focused us and not the other guy, that would have been it because we would have been going for the res. But we got really lucky in that situation. So remember, decision making is crucial, especially at the end of the game when you just don't help your teammate res if you're being pushed and the circle's that small. That's just dumb, but they got lucky. Guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel today, and also do not forget to follow my Uncut and my Rebirth channels. Both of the links are in the description below. But until next time, guys, you have a good one, and good luck in Warzone.